but it wasn't. Uh, Welcome to Open Oat. For those of you who have just joined us, we are discussing tonight the shape of breakfast cereals <coughs> and their role in modern society. I have a feeling that... Oh, pardon me, Dr. Speaking. Grosbeck, but I don't think Mr. Snyder has quite made his point. Well, my point is simply that cereals which are shaped like things just for the sake of being shaped like things are gimmicks. No, I They don't. have no validity. That's now, right. you take a cereal like Cheerios. Uh, may I mention names? I wish you would, actually. Fine. Well, they're shaped like little O's, and not because some Madison Avenue guy said, hey, O shapes would be good this season, but conversely, the little O per permits the all-around toasting of the oats. No, I've tasted them. They're not I too bad, I could I think that we're missing something important here, aside from the taste factor. In the actor's studio. I'm sorry, oh, I'm no. afraid our time is up. Uh, Mr. Snyder, I was wondering, do you happen to have a box of Cheerios handy uh, so that we can No, see I don't. I'm sorry. Uh, well, it's an O shape. They get the idea. I suppose. Yeah, you're right. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you next week. Uh, I really must I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. I was only going to I've say, got I, 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 I didn't have any. Well, well, you didn't have You didn't have any. You see, we don't do everything in the studio, you know. We're on the road much of the time with our remote units. On the road with over $2 million worth of specialized equipment. Big units, little units, special units, more than any other station in Los Angeles. Matter of fact, no independent or network station in the country can match KTLA's rolling stock. We're very proud of this newest acquisition. The finest, most complete color video units in existence, representing another major investment of over one million dollars. Why all this extensive equipment for an independent station? Because KTLA is not made up of just film cans and projectors, we recognize the need to be a part of the community. To service that community. To be where the story is. Whether in the form of entertainment, like the Freddie Martin Show, originating live from the world-famous Coconut Grove. Southern California's favorite live musical show, Polka Parade. And, of course, Dorothy Gardner, Los Angeles Television's most effective daytime women's personality. Or religious services originating from a different church each week. And here's an example of KTLA's noted coverage of special events, the Teenage Fair from Pacific Ocean Park. In the documentary field, the award-winning line of sight show with Bill Stout covering such significant local events as John F. Kennedy's visit to Los Angeles, expressing his views on the self-appointed anti-communist groups. Right, with common trade and strategic goals, and devote less energy to organizing armed bands of civilian guerrillas that are more likely to supply local vigilantes than national vigilance. We were again in the local spotlight during the Reverend Martin Luther King's special visit to the coast, presenting his opinions on the ever-increasing problem of the Muslim police conflict. It's a fast-moving world, a fast-moving city, and it takes a fast-moving news operation to keep astride of the day's events. Talk to the man on the street. He'll agree it's through the strength of the news department that you establish image in the community, acceptance in the market. Channel 5 prides itself in the most aggressive, knowledgeable, finest equipped news staff in the city. From early morning to late night, we stay on top of the news, starting the day with AMLA at 8. Cleet 
Roberts News and the Big Three at 6.30 p.m. And the Big Three final at 11 o'clock. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Cleet Roberts reporting the international scene. Bill Stout with the local news. Tom Harmon on deck for all the late sport news. Norm Schuyler, Tokyo. Bill Cody, Paris. A. Ashkenazi, Berlin. Bob Elfstrom, Stockholm. These primetime news shows are supplemented throughout the day with frequent telecopter reports. Guard is arriving now. It does appear possibly as though the Dominator will meet her final resting place just 200 yards off the Palos Verdes Peninsula. Some 80 to 100 automobiles were washed down the hill and slamming into each other, causing a terrific tie up here early this morning. Many of the cars are still packed up against one another. And for a real close report of what's going on, let's go down to the ground and join Stan Chambers with our special unit. We're just about 2628 Beechwood. Our mobile unit sending the signal direct to the KTLA helicopter. Tremendous amounts of mud up to the hubcaps and above. KTLA stands head and shoulders Big above the competition in the field of on-the-spot reporting as evidenced by the recent Bel Air catastrophe. This is the new special leaving the KTLA lot. Please stand by for complete coverage of the Bel Air fire. We estimate our time of arrival on the scene at 20 minutes. We'll be able to give you complete coverage at that time. Meanwhile, we switch you to Larry Shear in the KTLA helicopter now over the fire. You are not urged, but warned to stay completely out of this area. The roads and the thoroughfares must be kept open for firefighting and emergency equipment. Any sightseers or spectators attempting to get into this area will be arrested immediately. No questions asked. There again is a matter of minutes. People look to KTLA for its fast action coverage in times of crisis. Tune to five becomes the byword when unscheduled local events occur. As this story was unfolding on the screen, KTLA literally dominated the audience, including all three network stations. Rating a 25 during the peak hour, 9 to 10 p.m. Tremendously hot off the way over. This now is covering some two and a half or three acres. And you can see how close the flames are coming to this home, actually right down in the front yard of the home. A lot of fire equipment there. Firefighters are working as effectively and as fast and efficiently as they possibly can. After a personal observation of this coverage, prominent advertising executive Leo Burnett wrote, The most outstanding piece of news as it was happening reporting I have ever seen. A news operation of this caliber requires the wholehearted support of KTLA's management. We have this support. Stretch Adler, aggressive vice president and general manager, in the short period of a year and a half, has guided the station to its enviable position of the number one independent in the country's most competitive market. His leadership can be summed up simply. A helping hand in every situation. Stretch, give us a hand with these guns. Thank you. Move them out of the way. Help him with the ladder. Stretch, come back. Stretch, you're in the front of the camera. Would you move, please? Now, come back a minute, Stretch. We want you to get this uh, hose out of the way. Tell the lady to move the car. Help her move the car yourself. Come on, Stretch, get moving. Let's get out of here. Awards for broadcasting excellence have been bestowed on KTLA year after year for its service to the community, programming for the people, and dedication to the profession. They Walked in Darkness, a KTLA special, honored locally and nationally as one of the great contributions to the community. The National Headliners Award for the most consistent, outstanding news coverage. Special citations from the governor, the mayor, city officials. The attitude of the community is typified by this quote from one of the West Coast leading columnists. 
I have no doubt that when the end of the world comes, KTLA and its crews will be on the spot covering the smoking chasm, and Cleet Roberts will be reporting it. What's that? Oh, oh that. That's a special citation presented for this outstanding coverage. Thank you. It seems customary to thank someone, so I would like to thank the person or persons unknown who started the fire. No schedule too big, no order too small, no request unanswered. That's the creed of our sales department. Speedy service from the clerical to the general sales manager. tailored to suit the advertiser's needs are another vital function of this fast-moving sales organization. A long list of satisfied advertisers vie for key positions in KTLA's dominant children's programs. Looking for a prime position in Popeye? Well, <laughs> there you are, Popeye. Already have three spots in Popeye? I see. Don't go away. I have something here for you. Bozo the Clown. Uh, kids love Bozo. Look at that. You've been in the Bozo show since its inception, I see. Well, uh, let me see. Then we must surely have a Western. Oh. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? Now we're getting somewhere. Just happen to have the best known children's Westerns in the market. What else? Hop along, Cassidy. A proven success, outstanding rating history, and a natural for merchandising your product. And you may have that. Well, there goes another satisfied time buyer. And there he is. Why not jump on the bandwagon with the ever-increasing list of KTLA's children's advertisers? Total Promotion backs programming. Newspaper advertising is not confined to the L.A. Mets and magazines alone. Forty dailies and weeklies in many surrounding cities and communities are regularly used. A gross circulation approaching four million readers. Reach the people where they are. Three major radio stations advertise KTLA shows. Giant billboards cover main arteries. Jumbo displays on buses travel thousands of miles promoting KTLA's programs. Every angle is covered, even reaching the commuters by means of bench cards. Nice, huh? Ernie, I mean the bench. Over 750,000 KTLA merchandising impressions appear in 27 publications delivered to homes and distributed directly to shoppers. To guarantee advertisers success in the competitive LA market and its over 5,000 giant supermarkets, 30 major chains, requires the continuous influence of KTLA's extensive merchandising department to enhance your television buy. Channel 5's performance on behalf of advertisers covers every level, be it in the supermarkets or with added consumer promotion. Ask the two million children in Southern California, and they'll know Bozo the Clown, Tom Hatton with Popeye, 
and Skipper Frank's Cartoon Carousel. Advertisers have enjoyed continuous sales results for their products through the strength of these high-rated children's programs. Other great selling opportunities in the large audiences delivered on Sunday mornings, for kids only, and the favorite of the Moppet set, Romper Room. Past season's favorites will again Welcome. offer proven value, sure profits. Show, Beat the odds with Dennis James, the leading game show in Los Angeles. Yancey Derringer, starring Jock Mahoney, a rating winner on KTLA. A consistent leader in ARB and Nielsen, H.G. Wells, Invisible Man. Mr. Lucky, starring John Vivian, brings new and fresh audiences to KTLA in its new time period. Starring Craig Stevens. Advertisers will again take advantage of the loyal following. Quality programs, proven sales results. In Channel 5's continuing effort for better quality programs and client sales, we announce KTLA's golden year of programming for the Los Angeles market. Kane's 100. Advertisers will have dramatic commercial value in its first off-the-network success. That's one way of getting off dope. The big payoff premiering in its first nighttime exposure. Roaring Twenties, profits are off to a roaring start. Starring Dorothy Provine. The KTLA Special of the Week. Advertisers gain added prestige on KTLA Special of the Week, the Walper Starling Series, each an important television event. This is the story of the greatest invasion in history, told with a new and unusual dramatic technique, using actual German and American films never before seen. The story of D-Day. Restless Gun, back for a new and fresh audience. Longtime network favorite, Restless Gun, stars John Payne. It's the Steve Allen Show. What a better way to end the day than with Steve Allen, the nation's master of late evening entertainment, offering new late evening sales opportunities. Well, that's about enough questions for now, I think. And now I guess I'll go down in the audience and interview some people. What's your name? Yes, Ernie, it's going to be a big year on KTLA. A golden year for programming. A golden year for advertisers and for your sales success. And naturally, we'll be on the lookout for new unusual program ideas. No. <laughs> no, Ernie. No, we don't need it. No, no, Ernie. No. It's really me, uh, I, Cliff Norton. And at this time, I would like to have you meet the people who will be calling on you during the next season to acquaint you with this very fine station, KTLA. To acquaint you with the station and to show you how they can best serve your accounts and get more mileage out of your advertising dollars. Heading the list, of course, our congenial 24-hour-a-day man, General Manager Stretch Adler and his assistant in charge of programming, Bob Quinlan. A seasoned veteran in the sales field with whom I'm sure most of you are acquainted, Jack Donahue. 
and Jack's national sales manager, Marty Connolly, who will be calling on you quite frequently. And here's as strong a trio as you'll find housed under any one television roof. Carlo Anarchy, our local sales manager, Bob Nashik, who heads up promotion and publicity, and Jerry Birdwell, director of sales service. 